Here we go. First ever cast with the new Shimano Corrado 200M. Hello and welcome. What's up everybody? Thank you for clicking on the video. Justin Royal back today with another unboxing video. I just had this delivered. It's a package from Tackle Warehouse. As you can see right here, it says Tackle Warehouse. There's something that I'm really excited about inside of this box. Something that I've had my eye on for a little bit and I've finally got my hands on one. The ambiguity is probably pointless because most of you probably know what's going on by the thumbnail and the title. And if you don't know what's going on, you will hear in a minute. But surprise, surprise, as I was filming this video, the mailman dropped off this box from Sixth Sense and there's something in here I wanna tell you about. So let's do a quick little unboxing before the unboxing and talk about something that's in here. Now you guys saw recently, we unveiled here on the channel, the new Flush 7.5. That's the big version of the Flush 5.2, the Magnum Flush, the 7.5. We unveiled that bait right here on the channel. And a lot of you were asking me about when this bait was gonna drop in the comments. And I'm happy to announce that it is now available on SixthSenseFishing.com in some incredible colors. Check this one out. This is one of my favorites. This is the Ghost Minnow. Look at this color. The new 7.5 Flush. Not only is it a bigger profile, going to draw out a bigger bite, you're also going to have a lot more fun like throwing this one. You're going to be able to see it a little bit better in the water, especially if you're fishing it weightless up near the surface. The big soft plastic jerk bait is fun. It's kind of like throwing a swim bait, and I'm really excited for the 7.5 flush, but it's out. That was the main thing I wanted you guys to know is that it's available now in some really sweet colors. That's the Shad Pearl. They got the Gizzard Shad. That's another one of my favorites. The gizzard shad looks incredible. So I stocked up and I loaded up. I also grabbed some sweeps preemptively for next year's bed fishing season. And then to top it all off, you can never have too many divine swim jigs. And that is my PB getter. 3 8 ounce pro green divine swim jig. And yeah, just bought a handful of those as well. But yeah, the Flush 7.5. Don't sleep, they're moving quick, but I just wanted to let you guys know that these are out now in case you missed it. Also, when it comes to the Shimano Corrado line of fishing reels, I love the Corrado. I feel like the best bang for your buck, the overall best fishing reel that you can get, at least from Shimano, is the Shimano Corrado 200. I love my Corrado Ks. Out of everything that I use, I always feel like when I pick up a, a 200K, it just feels good. It's smooth, casts like a dream, no DC needed. I can run them extremely loose. They're workhorse reels that I never have any issues out of. I love the Corrado 200. I love the Corrado line of fishing reels. I have, as mentioned, the Corrado 200, Corrado K. I have this one and multiple others. In fact, I think I probably have more Corrado Ks than any other reel. We'll have to double check that because I don't really know off the top of my head, but I do have a lot of 200s. Another one that I have a lot of is the Corrado DC 150. I love my Corrado DCs. I have a bunch of these. This is the reel that really got me falling down the Shimano rabbit hole. After I got my first 150 DC, in fact, this might even be it right here. If this is an 8.5, yeah, it is. This might be the first 150 DC ever here on the channel. I still have them all. They're all still up and running, but uh, that's the reel that really, you know, sealed the deal with me and Shimano. Ever since I got my first Shimano Corrado DC, it's been over with. In addition to the Corrado 200 and the Corrado DC, I also have the Corrado 70 MGL. Absolutely love the 70 Corrado. Really good reel for throwing lighter baits. Jerk baits, soft plastic jerk baits, the flush, the fluke, lighter crank baits. Anything that doesn't have a lot of bulk or a lot of weight to it, the 70 performs really well. Love that Corrado as well. But wait, there's more. I also have the Shimano Corrado. Oh, that's another 70. But wait, there's more. I also have the Corrado 150 MGL. So I, I don't know, is that all the Corrados? Is that all of them? No, I got, oh, oh, look out. So I got the Corrado K, the Corrado 150 DC, the Corrado 70 MGL and the 150 MGL. Is that all? Is that all the other Corrados? Do I have them all? Oh wait, I almost forgot about this one. I actually have the Corrado 300 as well. So if that's not all the Corrados, it's definitely most of them. Let's quit jack lacking around. Let's unbox a new fishing reel. It's been a while since we've done a new reel unboxing. Been wanting this one for a while. 
ever since uh, I give a little shout out to the homies over at Tactical Bassin. Matt Allen did a video talking about the new Corrado M. And I was like, hold up, new Corrado. I'm into that. I want that. Ooh, wee. Okay. It looks, it, I was freaking out because it looks like the box just looks like the regular Corrado box. Anyways, hopefully this actually is a Corrado M in here because it looks exactly like a Corrado K box. I got some other stuff too. I got some baits as well. You guys keep watching. We'll look at the baits that I ordered. There's some baits that you guys said I needed to uh, to pick up. Yeah, this just looks exactly like a Corrado K, but I know that it's not because it says MGL Spool 3 on there. Okay, so you know what? Let's go ahead and just run through these baits really quick. So in one of my previous videos here recently, I asked you guys if there was a chatterbait smaller than the Mini Max, and you said this. So it turns out there is a Z-Man Chatterbait Micro 1 8 ounce BFS friendly chatterbait. And that's what I got all of these little guys for. I wanted to be able to throw a little bladed jig on the BFS setup. So in addition to testing out this new Corrado, we're also going to test out the little 1 8 ounce micro chatterbait on the BFS right here in this video. I don't want to fall too deep down a chatterbait rabbit hole, but I grabbed some of the flashback minis and the chatterbait micro for the BFS gear. Let's take a look at the new Corrado, the Corrado M. Just at first glance, looking at the box from outside, you would just think this is a regular Corrado, but uh, I guess this is the new regular Corrado. Is this, this is taking place of the Corrado K? This, is this replacing it? Is this good enough to replace it? I don't know. Let's find out together. I hear it's better. It's supposed to be an improvement. I'm gonna run them side by side. I'm gonna take a Corrado K and the new Corrado M down to the water and cast them both back to back and tell you what I honestly think. Yeah, I have zero affiliation with Shimano. This is just the reels that I like to use. So I'll let you know the truth. If it sucks or if it doesn't perform any better, I'll tell you. Let's check it out. All the paperwork and all the technical, you guys can read up on all the technical jargon and all the improvements that they've made over the old Corrado K on Shimano's website. I'm not really gonna go too much into detail. We're just gonna take a look at the new Corrado M. We're gonna spool it up and we're gonna go test it out. So look, looking at it, I can tell it's got like a little bit more of a modern appearance. There's just a couple more, a couple of the angles are a little different. I guess I could just go ahead and look at an actual 200. Yeah, you can tell. You can tell when you hold it up next to on the side profile beside an old 200, you can see that this one's got just a little bit more of an aggressive look to it. Like the angles on certain parts of the body are just a little bit sharper. Looks just a little bit more modern. That probably doesn't affect the performance too much, but hey, said it before, I'll say it again. It's cool when things look cool. And the Corrado M at first glance definitely looks a little cooler. Looks a little more aggressive. Not anything too like blatant or stand out or tacky, but you can just tell it just has a little bit more of a modern, aggressive feel to it. And yeah, so that's that. First impressions on the looks, a little bit more black on it. This is the 7.4, the HG, I went with the seven to one. First thing I'm gonna do is roll that spool tension way off. They have it tight from the factory. I like it loose, feels good. Feels nice. Nice. But I mean, of course it feels nice. You know, it's a Shimano. It's a Shimano Corrado. I knew it was going to feel nice. I knew it was going to look great. It definitely, you know, looks nice. It looks good. It looks like a Corrado with some modern tweaks, you know, some modern upgrades, which is apparently exactly what it is. You know, you got the MGL spool in here. So you've got the MGL Magnum Light Spool, SVS Infinity, and some other upgrades that supposedly bring the Corrado up into the more modern with the more modern internals that are available on some of the newer MGL Shimano's. So that's, that's it. That's basically it, man. You know, you got the silver on there, you got the silver and black, a little bit, more, you know, different cut to some of the angles and a little more like aggressive accents on the body, which I like, that looks cool to me. Overall, 
looks like another Corrado. What really matters is how this thing casts. I know that's what you guys really want to know. How does it cast? How does it feel out on the water? So let's get it spooled up. Let's get it mounted onto a rod. And then we'll go make some casts with this sucker alongside the original Corrado K, the 200. And we'll just go from there, see what we think. I'll give you guys my honest uh, breakdown and assessment, of my first impressions on the Corrado M and see how it stacks up to the OG Corrado 200K, which I absolutely love. If you see me spool one reel, you've seen me spool them all. So I'll spare you guys and I'll be back in an instant and this thing will be ready to rip. All right, I got it spooled up and I've decided that bait that we're gonna use to do this side-by-side -side comparison of the new Corrado M to the older Corrado K is this half ounce Chatterbait Mini Max with the new Busa Ned on the back of it. Rigged that up in a previous video. The new Busa Ned 3.3 now available from Six Cents. You guys check it out. And as far as the internal brakes go, I got two on and two off, both on this reel and on my Corrado K that I'm gonna be using for the comparison. Both of the rods are the same. The only difference is gonna be the K to the M. Let's head down to the water, make our first cast with the new Corrado M and see how it stacks up against the older Corrado K. I am really interested to see how this one feels compared to the older one. I've also got one of my new Chatterbait Micros tied on with the Shindig on the back as a trailer. That's that new Shindig from Sixth Sense. So we'll put all these things to work for the first time right here in this video. The new Shindig, the new Busa Ned, the Micro Chatterbait, the Corrado M. Let's go down to the water and maybe we'll even catch a fish. Who knows, man? But we're going to go hit the banks, test out all this gear. But first up, it's that Corrado M versus the Corrado K. All right, so we mobbing down to the water on the golf cart right now. We got the rods loaded up. We're banging lanes, dude, going about 27. Ski. Straight mobbing, dude. Hopefully it's not too windy. Ski. We're almost there, dudes. Oh no, I lied. It's the wind's freaking ripping. This this uh, this real test is a lie. The wind's ripping. I can feel it already. We're mobbing, dude. Scary. Either way, we're mobbing. Up and over, dude. Oh shit. Scary. Oh dude. That's my little off-road action here, dude. That sucks. I'm about to postpone the test. We're gonna have to postpone this test. Uh, the wind is absolutely ripping. I'll be back with test number two, no worries. <laughs> okay, here we are, round number two. Made it back down here a little bit later in the day and we got the all clear, so let's go give this new Corrado M a whirl. Got a little bit of wind going on, same as earlier, but I wanna get this done. Do a little cast of Ruski, compare and contrast, see what it's all about. All right, got a half ounce jig and a half ounce chatterbait, so. Should be uh, pretty comparable. Should be able to tell if there's any significant difference. Starting out on the Corrado 200. Internal brakes, two on, two off. External brakes are on, let's see. Let's start with them both on four. Internal, two up, two down, four. Spool tension, loose. We like it loose. Let's give the old 200 a little, a little, give her a whirl. That freaking sailed it. <laughs> It went really far. I mean, I don't know what else to say. That went really far. I can't think of a scenario where I would need to cast much farther than that right there. Love the Corrado 200. It's going to be tough for me to say that, you know, oh my gosh, this M is just worlds better. I mean, I love the Corrado K. That was awesome. I almost backlashed it, but it took care of itself. I mean, that is, it's, dude. I don't know how far, really far, farther than I would need to cast when I'm bass fishing. Don't really know what else needs to be said. I've fished with the Corrado 200 here on the channel for so long, it's a staple. I'll put it at number one, best bang for your buck fishing reel, but not just best bang for your buck. I mean, it is a dang good reel, period. I have a Metanium MGL, the new Metanium, and it's super nice, but I don't think it's 200 plus dollars more nice than this. And that's my honest take. But here we go. Let's make the first cast. Half ounce chatterbait versus half ounce swim jig. Feels about the same. All right. First cast ever. 
Brakes on four on the outside, two up, two down on the inside. Spool tension on. Loose, loose, loose. We like it loose. All right, here we go. First ever cast with the new Shimano Corrado 200M. All right, it did go a little further and also did backlash it. <laughs> Just a little bit though. It did go a little bit further. Now here's the problem. I gotta reel this in for eight days. What if we caught one? That would be sick. Just burning it. All right. Oh, there was a freaking zinger. Absolute nightmare backlash right there, dude. Well, I didn't backlash the 200. So there's that. I'm not sure why it's making that sound. That's concerning. It's done that a couple times. Why, I do not know. <clears throat> so there's my first experience with the Corrado M. So far, not super stoked, but hopefully I'll get it figured out. I'm not sure why I was making that noise. Gone now. Definitely more difficult to control the spool on this reel for me right out of the box i'll get it figured out so i have them set up the exact same way but i'm gonna go ahead and tighten the brakes down a little bit and give her just a little bit of spool tension because keep backlashing this thing that was a little better it effortlessly went just as far as the 200k and i barely even put any stank on it i really want a fish to eat this freaking chatterbait like that would be ideal I'll get a look at that new boost and ned running on the back of it Ooh, yeah i like that that looks good Corrado 200k was backlash free dude with way looser settings oh i just got freaking hammered dude All right, got her set up a little bit better now. I had to crank those brakes down, not gonna lie. Also put a little bit of spool tension in it, but check this out. Dude, it went further than the K. With the brakes locked down much more, it went further than the K. Feels really smooth, you know. So it is what's to be expected from a Shimano fishing reel. High quality, really comfortable, ergonomic, fits great in the hand. It feels like the next evolution of Corrado. I mean, it, it, it really feels like that, honestly. I just can't, I almost can't keep from backlashing it. No matter how much I crank it down, it just feels so loose. I'm like an amateur, dude. Like an amateur hour over here. But uh, does it feel like an improvement over the K as far as castability and casting distance and ability to get the bait out there further with less effort i would say yes my first impression is absolutely yes i'm gonna put the brakes up a little bit more let's see if i can i'm trying to just give her a good heave ho there that that, that was insane that was like half sauced and it still went just as far as the 200 full sauce if not farther this thing is legit dude just gotta catch a fish on it, dude. Just gotta catch a fish on it now, dude. I got bit over there a second ago. Something came up and hammered this thing. But I got that little BFS chatterbait, the micro. Eighth ounce chatterbait. I wanna throw that around. Maybe we can get whatever took a swing at this to eat this little micro chatterbait. Corrado M, it gets a thumbs up, man. Comparison uh, against the, the older Corrado K, does it feel like the next evolution of Corrado? I would say, yeah, it does. Is the old Corrado still good? Still good enough? Still just as good with just a little bit more sauce on the cast? Yeah, it is. But Corrado M definitely feels like a, an upgrade. Nice piece of gear. Looking forward to fishing with it a little bit more. You guys stick around, subscribe to the channel. You'll see me out there on the boat with that thing. Also, here's the boat ramp. It's got like three or four feet worth of water on it. And I'm not talking about depth, I'm talking about length. 
the trailer falls off the end of the boat ramp when you're launching but you can get it done so we might get a couple more trips in us before it's all over with i was hoping something would eat this thing there oh, oh i just got freaking blapped look at him dude he ate the freaking tail off my shindig just got freaking blapped right here dude the Corrado BFS. That's the Corrado reel I was forgetting about earlier in the video. I was pretty sure I had them all. And this, of course, is the one that slipped my mind. Should have been obvious. And when I say all Shimanos, I mean all current Shimanos that are currently being offered for sale new by Shimano. I am familiar with the old green Corrado and I'm sure some of you are probably putting that one in the comments as well. But earlier when I was trying to think of all the Corrados and whether or not I actually own them all, that BFS slipped my mind, almost got me. I remember the 300, forgot about the BFS. But anyways, it's the next morning I've had some time to uh, sleep on it and think about the Corrado M versus the Corrado K. How everything went down while we were down there on the water first up backlashed it into oblivion right out of the gate what else is new noob style you know that's that's what happened kept it real kept that in the video um settings were identical on both reels two up two down four on the external spool tension on loose so that was the first sort of hurdle the other was that sort of weird little noise that it was making. Now, I'm not entirely certain why that was happening. I think it might've had something to do with the button either being partially up or partially down sort of in between positions. I will say that I prefer the button on the old Corrado K over the one on the M. This one feels a little different and maybe even, I don't know, let me grab this one. Yeah, the shape is the same. The shape is the same of the button. But the M has this little, I don't know, it's like a textured portion. The old K is all smooth, while this one has this rough section. But if I'm being honest, I don't think that really has anything to do with it. It's just something about the button on the M that feels a little bit different. And I think that's why the reel was clicking like that. Uh, it hasn't happened again. Everything was all good after that. It was weird. Um, I have had it happen two Shimano reels before, sort of where that the button gets sort of in an in-between position and it's like half locked and half released. Anyways, we'll keep an eye on it. This is the reality of how things went, so I'm just telling you. That's really the only two downsides I see to this reel, and I believe that both of those were probably my fault. I had to tighten the brakes down significantly on the M to keep from backlashing it. Brand new spool full of brand new fluorocarbon. So that may have had a little bit to do with it. Also, I was dealing with the wind. I had a good eight to 12 mile per hour sustained wind at my back. So I did end up backlashing the thing a couple of times. But once I got the brakes tightened down, once I gave it just a little bit of spool tension, I was able to cast the Corrado M just as far, if not farther than the Corrado K with the brakes tightened down significantly further. So that tells me that if I can get into ideal conditions and if I can get my skills under control here and actually keep from backlashing this thing, that I'm gonna be able to cast this reel further than the Corrado K. Now, that being said, you saw when I made my cast with this, what did I say? The first thing that came to my mind was, why would I ever need to cast any further than that? I mean, there are situations where you need to, to bomb a cast when you're you know, sailing out a deep diving crankbait and you need all the distance between the bait and the boat that you can get so that you can get the maximum dive depth. Or when you're fishing a glide bait and you want to cover as much water as possible, draw those fish in from a long way off. I get that, I get that. Bombing out a cast is a thing sometimes, but let's be honest, most of the time, you're not trying to cast 100 yards at a time. So that being said, the first thing out of my mouth when I fired off that Corrado 200K at the beginning of the test was, holy smokes, I don't really, I can't really think of many scenarios where I would need to cast further than that. This cast just as far with the brakes locked down even further, and I wasn't putting as much stank on it, like not as much sauce. When I say not as much sauce, I wasn't put as much stank on it. What I mean is I wasn't putting as much effort into the cast. I was not having to use as much force to get the same amount of distance. That's really the initial comparison, the initial thoughts, honest, 100% unfiltered, unedited. I backlashed the dang thing a couple times, but once I 
stopped being hard headed and gave myself just a little bit more uh, leeway in the learning curve by applying a little bit more braking pressure, I was able to send it just as far as the Corrado K with the Corrado M with tighter brakes. And I never changed the internal brakes. Two up, two down. So far, I really like it. Really smooth. I prefer the old button, but that's not a deal breaker. It's a minor like nitpicking complaint. Uh, it's not even really a complaint. I'm just finding things uh, that set the reels apart that I could feel when I'm using it. The button, I didn't like the fact that it got caught in that weird zone where it sounded like I was probably breaking it honestly when I was pulling that backlash out, but it's been good to go ever since. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. That's the first impressions of the Corrado M. Would I recommend it? So far, yes. It's a nice reel, but as I said, man, casting distance isn't always the number one important thing. You need to be able to efficiently and confidently use your gear. So I will take the time, spend more time on the water with the Corrado M and I'll make sure I let you guys know how it goes. You'll see that I'll have the cameras rolling. I'll be out there on the water. I have some trips playing on some different bodies of water soon. So we'll be putting this thing to the test. It's almost chatterbait time. In fact, it is chatterbait time. As you can see, I have a hoodie on, it's getting a little colder. So the fish are gonna be uh, firing off that fall bite and I'm looking at getting out there and getting on them. And I'll be using this and uh, bringing you guys along for the ride. So make sure you stick around and subscribe to the channel. Help us hit 80,000. 80,000, that is unreal. Thank you guys so much for riding with me. The support that you show me here on this channel, it's incredible. You're awesome. I love you. I can never thank you enough. And uh, yeah, I appreciate everyone who takes time out of their day to watch these videos. But that's about all I got for you. That about does it. That about wraps her on up. So I'm going to say goodbye for now, but I will see you on the next one.